In this video, let's explore the switch component in React Native. The switch component serves as a valuable tool for integrating toggles into your app's user interface. It is particularly well suited for scenarios where you require users to make binary choices, such as enabling or disabling specific app features. Let's head back to VS Code and understand its usage. Step one, begin by importing the switch component from React Native library. Step two, let's use the view component from React Native and create a container for the switch component. We're going to set styles is equal to styles dot switch container. We're going to nest a text component that says dark mode with style set to styles dot text. And then we invoke the switch component. Step three, let's define the styles for the switch container. We're going to set flex direction to row, align items, center, justify content, space between, and finally, padding horizontal to 10. Now we will have padding 10 plus 10, which is 20 for the text dark mode, but that is okay as styling isn't really the main focus. If we save the file and change this to style and head back to the UI, we should see the text dark mode and the switch component. However, it won't function as intended until we connect it with a state variable. For step four, create a new state variable named is dark mode with an initial value of false. Then we add two props to the switch component. Value is equal to is dark mode. And then on value change, we're going to toggle the dark mode value. We pass in a function which receives the previous state and we set it to not of previous state, basically inverting the value. If we go back to the UI, we can now toggle between true and false values. In a practical scenario, you can consider showing different content or activating certain features in your application when the switch is turned on or off. As for the props, we can use track color to set colors for the track in different states. This is an object. If the value is false, let's set it to 767577. And if it is true, we set it to light blue. We can also set the thumb color using the thumb color prop. Let's set it to F4, F3, F4. If we take a look at the UI, we can see we have different colors from before. Ideally, this would be dictated by your brand colors. You can also see the appearance of the switch component is different across the two platforms. So that is about the switch component in React Native. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.